Hi my dear friends, welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and this beautiful plant right here is Edith. Today we're going to talk about the beautiful golden potos. Okay, coming up. Oh, before I forget, if you're watching this video in July of 2020, we're celebrating our first 10,000 subscribers. So we're doing a giveaway, of course, to say thank you. If you would like to participate, make sure to check out this video right here for all the information. But now, let's get to this beauty right here. <laughs> the golden potos actually comes from South Asia, so it is a tropical plant. And it has a reputation of being one of the easiest houseplants to take care of. I can tell you for me, this plant just brings me joy because she's so easy to care for and so beautiful. And really, it is very beautiful. This plant is actually known for its leaves. The leaves have the shape of a heart and they have some golden tones to them. So you see some green and then some gold. Hence the name. If you keep this plant happy, it will grow up to 10 feet long. And that's indoors. She's also such a special plant to have indoors because it has the capability to purify the air. So we actually have our photos in our bedroom just to purify the air while we sleep. And it's just so beautiful to wake up to. So now let's see how you can keep your beautiful photos very happy at your house. In terms of temperature, this plant will be very happy in normal household temperatures. So keep her in a room that is between 15 to 20 something degrees Celsius. This is a tropical plant, so they would like humidity. They don't need as much humidity as the calatheas, for example, that in my experience need about 60% humidity. I think normal levels of humidity should be okay. If you find that in the winter, the air in your place is super dry and you see that the edges of your leaves are browning, your plant may need a bit more humidity. So place her with other tropical plants on a humidity tray or close to a humidifier. One important factor with the golden potos is light. Remember, the golden potos doesn't need so much sunlight. I find that they're happy with medium or low light levels. Avoid bright direct sunlight because this may burn the leaves. So for example with ours, as I said, we have them in our bedroom. Our bedroom actually has a northwest facing window, which is perfect for her because she gets afternoon sunlight but really indirectly. And she seems to be thriving there. I've learned that this plant likes low to moderate watering. We don't want to give too much water to our plant because we don't want to overwater her. So the way that I check if my plant needs water is with my finger. I put my finger inside the soil until the second knuckle or until the end of my finger. And once I feel that the soil is dry, then I water. And the method that I use, of course, is the bottom watering method. I love this method, as you may know, because it helps me get the water into the roots from below. And then once I'm done, I actually let the water drain down through the drainage holes. That way the soil is moist, but not super wet. And she seems to be very happy like this. In the winter, you will notice that the soil takes longer to dry out. So cut back on water. Remember, we want to let the soil dry in between waterings, so we don't overwater our plant. In terms of fertilizer, I'm actually fertilizing my plant pretty much every time we water during the growing season, which is from spring to summer. I fertilize every time we water because we use an organic fertilizer. And organic fertilizers tend to be less concentrated than synthetic fertilizers. But of course, even if you have an organic fertilizer, I strongly recommend that you check the instructions on the package. That way you make sure that you don't overfeed your plant. And this is the fertilizer that we use right now. I really love it because it's vegan and organic and our plants seem to be very happy with it. So if you would like to try it out, I will just put a link in the description down below so you can find it. And actually I want to show you how many new leaves we have in this plant because oh my god, it's growing super nicely. So let me show you now. Thank you. 
in terms of potting mix, this plant is super adaptable. So you can use an all-purpose houseplant potting mix. If you want to make your own, I would recommend that you add 7 parts of coconut coir, 2 parts of warm castings, and 2 parts of perlite. In terms of toxicity, when we prune our plant, there may be some sap coming out of the stem. This sap can be irritating to the skin, so just be careful. <laughs> okay my friends, these are some of the tips that I can give you about this beautiful plant. Do you have a golden potos at home? How do you take care of it? Make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. Of course, if you would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao! <laughs>